All right, we'll spin this crank around for the first time with a brand new chain. Let's see if it's gonna interfere or anything. There we go. It's okay. It's okay for now. All right, guys. So spinning this three, four times, um, it's hard to see. If I put a camera on this uh, intake port right here, it's just dark in there. Um, uh, the the valve seems like it's closing, but I'm not quite exactly sure if it's holding a pressure but spinning this crank I can feel a little bit of a I'm not sure exactly how to explain there's no spark plugs it's just easy to turn you could put uh, your hands on a spark plug hole you can feel a little bit of a compression try the number two number three try number one Yeah, it's just hard to uh, it's hard to tell by cranking it with your hand. Now we're gonna try uh, crank it with a starter motor. Basically, what you need to disable is the fuel pump. You don't want the fuel pump running. I'll show you where the fuse for your fuel pump here. So before we get to the fuse block, I'll show you guys a diagram here. Uh, so that we can get a better understanding which fuse and where is the fuse are. So you can tell right here, this is the, the fuel pump right there. And then there's a fuel pump control module. So power and ground going to the fuel pump control mo module. And uh, there's a wire right here going to the fuse. It's, fourth wire go to the ground and the fifth wire somehow goes to the ECU okay so what we're gonna do is gonna disable this power right here that would be right there driver side fuse panel so that's where that fuse are uh, fuse number three 25 amp and then let's go to the driver side fuse panel all right, driver's side fuse panel. We'll uh, take that out. Let's go look. All right, here we go. We're beside the dash. So you can tell that there is a, you don't know where, where to start. Uh, there's three rows right here, middle, and then the third one. You can tell there's number two right there, but I'm guessing this is number one, two, and three. But if you go to the chart here, uh, fuse carrier block, that would be one on the left. Uh, fuse carrier brown and red so black brown and red so black brown and red okay so so we're gonna have to look in our number three here is uh, carrier brown so we're on the middle one number one fuse number three 25 number one two three so this is the one this is the one for the for, for the fuel pump. So one, two, the empty one is two and three. All right. Uh, just for 
see clutch sensor this thing is automatic so there's no clutch so that's why number two is empty all right all right guys so this is it this is the one right here for the fuel pump module slash fuel pump to disable the fuel take this out uh, i'll pull that out like this and then just put it on the side and uh that should be disable the pump so i think this is ready um so this is this is the line right here i put a plastic on that so i won't smell it all day the fumes of fuel so i'm kind of just worried that uh it's better to put a container here just in case it did turn on the the fuel pump you know you don't want all the fuel spraying all over the place just for safety i'm gonna put container all right i'll just put that high pressure line on the bottle just in case i believe we could uh crank the engine no start just turn the engine let's put a gauge and see what kind of pressure we have on each of these cylinder all right we're gonna start with number two one two three four let's start with number two three four and one the end because i know one is bad for sure but we'll see there we go guys so watch the gauge maybe uh, about six seven pump on the gauge and uh, we'll check it out here wow nothing <laughs> that's a good number three Well, that one's zero PSI, so let's go to the fourth one. All right, so this is the number four cylinder. Well, that one's zero PSI as well. Let's go to number one, the last one. All right, this is the number one. All right, zero PSI. What the heck? <laughs> we all know timing is right, but who knows, valves probably all bent. Now we're gonna do a leak down test in the next video. We'll do a leak down test. Find out where all the leaks coming from. Exhaust, intake, who knows? Could be the piston, who knows? So that's the result guys, no PSI, no pressure on all four cylinder. Just want to make sure, double check the timing again so that we're on the right um, track here. Alright, so I can't resist that I have to do this test. Uh, I don't have the compressor and, and the leak down test tool. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to set this to the TDC. So here's the mark. For the exhaust and then the mark right there intake mark right there okay and then uh, on the crank should be at like uh eight o'clock or something like that or seven o'clock so this is the primary chain this is the oil pump so right there that's my setting right there my notch and this is a, a chain for uh balancer so this is what i need here i'm on the right setting there so this is on tbc i got the piston way up at the top that means all the valve on the cylinder number one is close there's the valve right there So that means it's closed and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna blow the spark plug hole here and then watch for this uh, cloth to move around. Okay.
here. I can feel it with my hand in there, so means that the intakes for sure is a bent bent valve. So that's one one way to find out a quick diagnose <laughs> if you're out in the field, out in the boonies somewhere. All right, guys. So you see that video after doing the compression test, all four cylinder, it just have no pressure at all. So what that means, uh, this engine is a melon. It's just no compression. It's just dead. It's just dead in the water. We need to have compression to get this thing to start. So what that means that uh, you're gonna have to take the head of the engine, check the valves, replace the valves, and uh, clean it. That's in the next video. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try to take out this exhaust manifolds and turbo, show you guys how, how to do that. So because of that, thanks for watching and uh, see you again for the next video.